All right. This is what I've got so far. I was looking on how to cut these things perfectly to fit, but it's not really required. I'm not sure I got enough. I do have more in there to make 100% coverage of the sides. But the sides are also going to be and the and the floor and the roof, which I haven't done yet. I've got to get something to get this adhesive and stuff off the top. But I can minimize, I believe, majority of sound with what I've got left. I've um, got a couple of more sheets, and I've got several more sheets upstairs. So I probably can get about a 70% coverage without ordering anything new. I've still got a little bit of the floor to do. I'm trying to get a 100% coverage or a 99% coverage of this portion of the floor. Uh, 70 to 80% coverage of the walls with the remainder I have of this Noiko sound deadening should be good. Uh, the other uh, sound deadening and insulation, which means I won't have to put extra insulation up here, will come from uh, basically that type of thing. Silver on one side, much thicker, and it, it, it should stick to the top without any problem. So, that's what I'm looking. So, I just want to give you a quick update on how things are going. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's a good start. I'll give you a later update and I'll have a bit more up here. I've got to cut these in, in half here, cover some of those sections down there. And I think I will get about as much as I can get over my remaining sound deadening material, including what I have left upstairs. And uh, we'll see where we're working from there. Then I'll begin, I'll have to stuff the doors, I've got to make panels for the doors. Uh, it's just so much fun ahead. That's all I've got, and I will talk to you later. Okay, uh, this is the stage now, and I come so close to getting almost 100% coverage on these Noiko, on this Noiko uh, sound deadener here, that I have decided to com complete it. So, uh, I am going to... Uh, I ordered one more box, a very small box of it, and I think I have enough to complete most of the room, with the exception, of course, of the supports, which I'll be putting some foam in and using as the basis for uh, the future build. Uh, I haven't done any of this ceiling yet, but since this is the first tolerable heat day, probably, it's probably in the mid to low 80s, I thought I would get as much as I could done. I still got to tag that down a little bit. So, uh... Uh, with that one box, I'll do these, these patches that I haven't done and make an attempt to get this as, uh, as solid with noise deadener as I can. And once I do that, I should be finished with this portion and begin to worry about insulation, etc. And of course, I did not patch this since I was so close I used it all and ordered some more so I got to patch this hole once I get the uh, grinder and get that uh, get that mount point off it's just the bolts are too rusty to even worry about going under there and getting the nuts off I'm just going to cut them off anyways that's uh, that's the status now uh, so uh, hopefully sorry about the little foam pieces here I had a uh, I was gonna transport something to throw away when it stopped running, well, it start, kept running and wouldn't accelerate. By the way, I did fix that acceleration problem. I reached under there and simply touched the, the, uh, the throttle sensor. And, and now it can, it's running fine. Uh, 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 but, like I said before and earlier, we're going to get my friend in here. And we're going to either we have to pull off the whole throttle body and replace that throttle position sensor. Then once I do that, everything will be much easier and much better. And I'll be able to drive this thing more reliably. I'm a little bit leery about getting it out with a short like that because all I need to be is to drive up to a, uh, a stop sign. All of a sudden, the, uh, the throttle sensor goes out on me again. So I do have to address that. That's, uh, that's all I've got for this part of the uh, video. I'll be back. Uh, I'll decide what I'm going to do. Well, I know what I'm going to do next. I've got to clean the adhesive off of the ceiling. I've got goo gone coming. I've got to get that little, that old trashy remainder of insulation off, remove all the adhesive, and then start doing the ceiling. The ceiling is not going to be done with Noiko. 
It's going to be do with, done with this hybrid uh, sound deadener and insulation. And then I'm just going to leave that for the ceiling and then I'll just be getting the regular insulation on uh, later. Alright. I guess that's all I've got for today. And I'll be back. Uh, um, I try to do it uh, every other day because uh, with the heat, like I say, I cannot do very long uh, stints out here. Even at 88, I'm about to pass out because <laughs> I've done three times as much as I would have done when it was 98. It was 95. So I'll talk to you later.